What's up, Jabrini Savino? Welcome back to yet another reaction. Today we're hopping into The Office, episode number two of season five uh, called Weight Loss Part Two. Of course, we are in the middle of our weight loss uh, competition. Um, we don't seem to be doing too well. Uh, Ellie is kind of killing herself um, and other people aren't taking it that serious. Our girl Pam is uh, in New York. Um, other than that, Michael and is into Holly, but he's also still dating Jen or Jan. So, yeah, I don't know. We'll see what happens. The White and Angela are still sleeping together, but Angela kind of has realized that maybe I'm gonna stay with Andy. I don't know what's their whole deal. Let's up in here. Have a good time. Like, comment, subscribe. Oh. How's my favorite branch doing? I thought you were in jail. All right. What's happening? Don't shake his hand. Fuck that guy. <laughs> Coming back to the community. Oh, that's great. You're talking about your court ordered community service? I don't need a judge <laughs> to tell me to keep my community clean. On the brighter side, you gain zero pounds. Hey, you know what? I can't do this by myself, people. Kelly and I are the only ones who have either passed out or almost passed out. Okay. No, I want names. This is the hardest thing I've ever had to do in my <laughs> entire life. Your stupid friend zone. Mm. I should have been lovers with her first and then friends. That was terrible advice. Terrible advice. You know yeah. my seduction method. I like to get in there and get my hands dirty. I'm hardly the problem, Jen. No, you're definitely the problem. <laughs> this is what I'm going to do. I'm gonna randomly select three names, and these think later. Catch up. Oh, Big number on date. Oh, that <laughs> is so sweet. Um, but I'm dating Daryl still, and we're like crazy in love. So. Uh, um. Names making hey, friends. Jim, um, listen, can I call you back in a little bit? I made friends. Ooh, beat his ass. Are you insane? He hey, left you somewhere. What happened? There was no client. Dwight drove me to an abandoned warehouse five miles away and pushed me out of the car. I had to walk home with no money. Phyllis Vance for David Wallace. Oh, shit. Dunder Mifflin wants to make it clear that Dunder Mifflin does not discriminate. Nor hey, clown! Why, hello, everybody! What are you doing? Fair question. I said, I said, I said, I sit down, Holly! There's something wrong with society. See, you're always saying there's something wrong with society, but maybe there's something wrong with you. <laughs> if it's me, then society made me that way. Now, I know a lot of you are probably asking yourself, why are you dressed in a plus-size suit? Because you're kind of doing Michael Klum. Unappealing fat suit. Inside is a rather handsome, sexy man. Vamping. Hey, why don't you just sit down, please? Yeah, I've been sitting all day. We're doing this because of you. So why don't you just go Ooh. stand somewhere else? Ooh. Forcing her to walk five miles, which for her is basically a death march. Jesus. Jesus. Okay, Phyllis, thank <laughs> Dwight first. Why should I have to thank him? You're right. You're right. Just Dwight, do it. Just say it, okay? Jesus. I apologize for <laughs> creating a ruse which forced you to exercise. Finally. Right. Her. She's a beautiful Indian woman. Why? What makes her beautiful? Everything. Oh, okay. She's perfect. I like her nails. Okay, be more specific. I like her fingernails. Don't fall for Ryan's I like bullshit. her purple dress. What about her looks? Hell of an yes. ass. Michael's actually being nice mm. here in a weird ass way. Summer's going great. Just spent two hours listening to Michael Klump. I have a weird pain in my left side that I'm convinced is an ulcer. My girlfriend lives in New York and I haven't seen her in 10 days. How's your summer? Great. Ryan, look. Shaved off my goatee. I am goateeless. We are the goateeless brothers. <laughs> yep. Oh, now you're goatee. Oh. <laughs> oh, I had a good time, but uh, it's been three days and no call. <laughs> Nosy much? What are you writing about me? <laughs> yeah. Oh, hey. 
Did he call? I just got off. Kendall? I just got No, off. no. Did I? We... Anyways, um, seems like we lost to Utica by only eight pounds. Aww. Well, at least everyone lost weight. That's all that really matters. Wait, could we have till the end of the day? So we're only eight pounds. <laughs> hey, is that healthy food? Yes. Yep. We're trying to win a contest here, Kelly, please. Except for her to... Michael, I just scheduled lunch with a client, so I might... Okay, so I booked them. I don't think that... And they're collectively my best man. And they're crashing with us for three weeks, so... What the fuck? Totally works out. I don't know if I want your old college acapella group to be our wedding band. <sighs> what's what's why does Jim want to meet so bad? Been Is he gonna propose? Uh, yes, That's curtains for the yoga guy. Oh, really? Yeah. I, I have to say, I think the problem with that whole thing yeah. was that he was a complete stupid idiot. <laughs> we can lie and say that oh, Ryan's. Man, I really yeah. wanted to see them. I know. I, I love. I love. Look at where my seats were. Wow, really? Yeah. That's a shame. Shame to waste these. I want to buy them from you. Michael, you don't do. have to no, buy them. I do. I I want to. Trust me, I really do. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Uh, what right. are we gonna do with the weigh-in? All right. Sixty dollar limit on my ATMs. Yeah. Is that a good? Why would you do that? Hey, hey there, what buddy. are you smiling about there, smiley pants? You're late. Wet tuna. Okay. Funny. This is a good day. I'll get you into guys our undies. Accomplish something big. <laughs> and we'll you be good. lost a ton of weight, literally, a lot of weight, and I don't care what any stupid scale says. You guys are all gigantic losers. <laughs> I don't know about anyone else, but it was a good summer for me. Hey, entourage. What the hell happened to Toby? Uh, and zip lining my third day in Costa Rica. I nice to have visitors. Aw. All right, that was episode number two. Um, it was okay. Wasn't that funny? Man, disappointed by that proposal though. Damn. I'm very disappointed by it actually. Do we do we know? Like, did we see that moment when it was the genius store thing that he was talking about? I don't remember the store thing. It was could have been a while ago. He said the store where we. I don't remember that. Maybe maybe it was. I don't know. I was disappointed in that in that uh, the proposal though. I just like I thought I thought it would have been a bigger m moment for us as the fans, like a bigger. Aw uh, moment and it wasn't. It was just kind of a I can't wait. Do it in front of this place. Would have preferred the one at the office. Um or on the roof of the thing would have been nice. I don't know. Well, can't do anything about that. Oh uh, overall the episode wasn't that funny. It was just kind of okay. It kinda of told it a basic um I mean it kinda of told the basic story that we had, but nothing really special about it. Uh, we got to see Ryan come back, which is fine. He's an asshole, but we got to see him come back and kind of go all the way back to the bottom, and he's kind of, like, acting differently now. Um, We got to see Michael rip up those tickets. <sighs> is there a lot here? Maybe, yeah, I don't know. Am I missing something? Is there? Is, is there at the moment, I just kind of felt like the episode wasn't, I was never bored, but I didn't laugh, really, at all. Um, the episode was just kind of there, which makes me kind of want to give it a six or a seven. So that's where I'm at. Uh, we'll break it down. We'll go through it. If we could find something, maybe. Um, 
I guess if you combine it with the previous episode, overall, I'd give them both episodes a seven together, maybe. Uh, but we start off, uh, we're all exercising. Ryan's back. Michael has a goatee. Ryan has a goatee. He's got a list now where he's putting names on it. Tim doesn't like Michael, uh, Ryan anymore. Um, we're losing the weight loss thing. This part was funny when he made a like a, a groan when he found out Holly went on a date and it went well. Blames Jim for it. Uh, this is the best part is probably this thing because it's mad uncomfortable when the wife calls, you know, who's getting liposuction or whatever. Ellie kind of owning Ryan a little bit. Good for her. The wife screwing over Phyllis. Ham has friends. <laughs> he made her walk. And so. Um, then we have the, like, I didn't find the Mr. Clump thing funny. So if this was meant to be the funny thing, I didn't find it funny. I don't know. Maybe it was funny. I have no idea. I didn't, I don't know. I didn't laugh. I was uncomfortable when thing. And I thought it was cool that Michael, you know, was actually trying to be nice. He was trying to turn it into something nice and he was trying to help, um, Kelly and stuff. But let's see what else. Tells her, he tells Kaya, you know, to eat food, not to starve herself. Then do the weigh-in. We're losing. Lost by eight pounds. What sparked this? Oh, it was, what sparked this with for Jim that he was so bored and he has no friends because he doesn't hang out with nobody over here and that, like, he's like, you know what? I want to be with her, so I'm going to drive all the way over there. Is that just what it was? We have the whole thing with the... Michael bought the tickets. He could have just bought them. I don't know. He could have just gone with Holly. Like, what? Oh, we have to lose eight pounds. Um, Angela's trying, I think, here. But Andy's so difficult for her to, like, adapt to him. She goes and cheats on him again with Dwight. Um, and then, yeah, this proposal. I don't know. I'm curious about... What did you guys feel about the proposal? I feel like the proposal wasn't great. It, I would, I want to go back to see if this is a moment that we've met, like the old convenience store thing. If it is, then it's a great proposal. But I honestly can't remember if that's where like something happened at this convenience store that I'm supposed to. Um, Michael buys the tickets off Holly, rips them, throws them on the floor. We lose the contest. Danny lost some weight, and holy shit. What the fuck, man? Look, poor Toby, man. Poor Toby, dude. Toby is in a bad situation, you know? His third day here, he got into a, a, a gliding accident, and he hasn't even seen the beach. That's sad, uh, Toby. Uh, but yeah, that's the episode. Hope you guys enjoyed If you did, like, comment, subscribe, Patreon for the full reaction. Uncut episodes over there if you want them. If not, totally cool. Episodes here whenever they show up, but I'm gonna get out of here, and I'll talk to you guys later.